Progressive Congress APC used to be seen as a pariah party, an outcast of a sort under the leadership of Rucha Sukurucha as the governor of Imo State. The party was deserted by the elite and end, and even the masses during Okurucha's era. That was why the party was Armstrong or in dilemma in fielding quality candidates in the 2015 general election. Therefore, it was not a surprise to many even when People's Democratic Party, PDP, swept almost all the entire seats for the National Assembly. PDP won eight House of Representative seats and the entire three senatorial seats in Imo State. With the entrance of Senator Hopu Zodima and other big leagues into the party in early 2018, the fortunes of the party improved rapidly in the state. That explains the reason why the party made a better performance in the 2019 general election in the presidential, gubernatorial, national assembly and state house of assembly elections. Okorocha's domineering style of politics, which gives the impression or the delusion of grandeur that he should always be the only Iroko in the forest, made it difficult to sell APC among the electorate of Imo State without the divine entrance of Governor Uzodima into the party. APC would have become extinct in the state since 2019. The fortunes of the party has been multiplying in geometrical proportion since Uzodima became the governor of Imo State on January 15, 2020. Uzodima's likable personality and accommodating spirit have been the most potent magnet attracting people in droves to Imo APC, those who swore never to have any dealing or affiliation with APC during Okorocha's era have recanted or changed their minds about the party. The rate of influence of people into APC in recent time has been astronomical. However, Governor Hoku Zodima must not be deceived by the apparent change of fortunes for the party under the leadership, under his leadership. As the governor of Imo State, Senator Uzodima is both the Dijo and the facto leader of the party in the state. Okocha, even though a former governor and a now senator, must kill behind the governor as far as the leadership of APC in the state is concerned. There can never be two captains in a ship. Coincidentally and paradoxically, both of them swapped positions. Governor Zodima was a senator when Okorucha was the governor. Today, Ukurucha is a senator and then Senator Uzodema is now the governor of Imo State. By this es extrapolation, nothing should make Ukurucha to feel more superior to Governor Hope Uzodema in politics and party leadership. Governor Uzodema is too big a politician for him to pocket. The recent birthday celebration of Senator Ukurucha had exposed the disloyalty of some party faithful who claim to be loyal to incumbent Governor Uzodima. In the various advertorials by Okorocha's loyalists, some of whom are current members of the National Assembly, National State Assemblies, they refer to Okorocha as their leader or even went ahead to refer to him as the leader of the party in the state. If Governor Uzodima had taken his time to read the messages in the birthday advertorials, words for word, line by line, he would have discerned where the loyalty of those where wishes lies. With the Supreme Court's pronouncement of Governor Hope Uzodima as the governor of Imo State on January 14th, the governorship election of the state will no longer be conducted during the general election of the country as it used to be. It now means that Imo State has joined the League of State with staggered gubernatorial election. These states include Anambra, Bayesa, Ekiti, Oshun, Edo, Kogi, Undo, and Imo. Governor Zodima must realize that presidential, senatorial, and House and House of Assembly elections will be conducted first before his own re-election, which is likely to take place several months after the general election. Against this background, he's bound to expect a lot of betrayers and saboteurs from fair whether loyalists when and if he will seek a re-election. 
as a leader of APC in the state, all party faithful must show total loyalty to him. No sitting on the fence. All party faithful must choose between Uzodima and Okocha now that it's still daytime before the night comes. He must be wary of those party faithful who praise him in the daytime and run to Okocha during the night to malign him. And that's what that is where the governor must be very thorough and circumspect in choosing those who will fly the party's ticket for all the elective seats in 2023 if god keep us alive <laughs> so guys in in a nutshell this country is all about the politicians <laughs> nothing more nothing less it's all about them you see the way they are playing playing politics with, with people's lives they are there for themselves they are not there for anybody which nigerians know quite well we are talking about loyalty Nigerians, or with the situation uh, things are in Nigeria, the situation has become anywhere belief is. Believe you me, if another party, if an unpopular party, paraventure, takes over the leadership of any state, an unpopular party, that's, um, that is what I'm talking about. Before you know it, both the so-called giants, the two political great political parties that we have in this country, APC and PDP, they will, they will all defect. They will all decamp to that place. That is just the way it is. Because everybody is looking for what we enter his or her pocket. Nobody is ready to be loyal to any party or to anybody. Once they see that a man is influential, everybody wants to go there. Even all of those people, these, these so-called, uh, these people are elderly people, they are old people, they are not just children that are, you know, you just give sweets. Uh, maybe when you, when you spark a, a child, if the if the child cries and he wants that same child wants to give that child you know uh, candies or what do you call it or cookies the child will definitely forget everything because of that candy we forget what you have even done to him that is just the way these our politicians behave once they see anywhere that that their bread will be butter that is where they will go you can imagine those uh, who were under Okorocha those uh, is loyalists all of a sudden they've gone again. They, de they defected to APC. You see that they are not uh, ashamed of themselves. Okay, some of them left maybe to another party. They came back and they begin to pay their allegiance to Opus Odima because he's the man on board. He's the man on board. You, you can imagine when Uzodima was there. All of them, uh, not Uzodima, Emeka Hedia, all of them came back. So it is all about them. It is all about the politicians. That is why they can do anything just to be there. They can do anything just for them to be among the the ruling party. They can be there so that they will be at around the uh, you know the corridor of power. They can do anything. It's not all about them. All this energy that they are they are they are putting up. If they can put it up for the masses, but that is not the issue. And again, the masses themselves they've taken their faith in their hand, their destiny in their hands. They don't even care. No wonder we saw a video that is trending. Uh, I think it happened in a, a Kitty state. Okay, on those states, this election that just concluded yesterday. And these two, two guys, they were displaying the money given to them. They said whether they were joking or whatever, but that is just what uh, they are, the picture they are painting out there. Say they collected the money. It is their vote. It is not your vote. So they have rights to do whatever they want to do with it. And they sold their vote. They said, we sold our vote. It's our vote. They have the right to sell it so they can do anything with it. Because some people will ask you, who... Uh, voting for the right person, who, help? who who is even right in the first place? The question is that whether the APC wins, whether the PDP wins, the APC that is there now, what, how has it transformed the lives of people for the better? It's the same story, oh. story, 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 from top to bottom, everybody's complaining. Then what significant, what, what significant thing have they done that will even end, you know, encourage people to say continue so they just some people just believe that let me just collect what i want to collect and forget and move on whether even if i vote for this person how will this person be able to take policy that will affect me now 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 no once they get there they'll just say you you have to be patient you have to calm down oh nigerians are too in a hurry oh the government is not a magician this and that and these are the words they've been telling us right from in memoria those who have lived in the city before then, before, since to, to date, the same story. Nigerians have never enjoyed. But go and check all those politicians. They are the, this country is made for them. 
is a lucrative job, the most lucrative job in the country now if you are if you belong to the political class. So that is why all these people, nobody is loyal to anybody. They are loyal to their pockets, whatever they can get from them. And that's just the way it is. If they see somebody who is doing the wrong thing, they will still support him because the person is ready to pay their bills. So whether who's or Dimao or Rochas or Kocha, that's just the way I see it. None of them, all of them, none of them is worth calling a leader because they have not touch the heart of the people forget these individuals few individuals they will gather and begin to give small small things and that is what they will pride themselves over so guys let's hear your opinion let's leave your comments below in the comment section thank you